Okay, this is my Pratt Bernard 10 inch chuck off my Colchester lathe. Uh, I bought the lathe about a year ago now. Never fitted this yet. Two reasons. Never needed to. Uh, second reason, I haven't got the, uh, the spanner to change the chuck. So, before I actually do go around to fitting it, what I'm actually going to do is give it a good clean. It doesn't look too bad, but I know that one or two of the jaws are a bit stiff when they're going in and out. So um, th there's obviously a bit of muck in, in, inside on the threads, so I'm going to clean all that, uh, that out. Clean the, the main thread, clean the taper and the bore, as you can see there's lots of gunk in there. So I'm going to give it a good clean, a nice oil, get it ready to go on. Then I'll make a spanner and then I can put it on. So hopefully over the next few minutes or so, that's what you'll see. So first things, take out the uh, take out the jaws. These are uh, half inch hex. As I say, some of them are a bit stiff. There's definitely some gunk in that. up as well, not too bad. You can see inside the threads that there is a lot of uh, debris. Donors obviously didn't take too good care of it. You can see inside there, inside the threads. The threads themselves look pretty good, they're just full of swarf. Okay, so each one of the threads is held by a pin that goes in in the rear, which in turn is held in by a locking screw. So before we can take out the threads, we have to take those out. Okay, so now those retention screws are out, we can then tap the bar all the way through. So for that I'm going to use a little drift key and gently tap them out. This doesn't quite reach, so I'm going to use a piece of brass uh, threaded bar to push it the last little bit. Okay, so now those are out. Still be a little 
Oh, no. I think it's just full of gunk. Let's try the other ones first. So the threads aren't too bad, it's just there's some hard baked on gunk there. Now just so I get things in the right order, I'm going to put these in the order that they came off. So this is the screw from chuck one or um yep. Yeah. So I'm going to line that up with that one. So the next one is number two. Inspecting the thread. Doesn't look too bad, there's a few minor marks on one of the. No, it's not too bad. Okay, number three. Ah, there we go, easy. This one actually looks like a replacement. Material looks newer. And also, you can see it's been drilled for the, for the end, end stop. Maybe that's a replacement. Again, this is covered in muck. Other than that, the threads are okay. And it's only number three that has the, uh, the hole drilled in the end. I'm guessing it is a replacement unit. So, using an aluminium drift, I'm going to tap the plugs all the way out. Okay, so that's all of the parts that can be removed. Next thing to do is to give it a good clean. Okay, so for the cleaning. Some, uh, some diesel in. I'm going to do one chuck at a time.
Okay, so <clears throat> all the parts are now cleaned. Time to reassemble. Give it a wipe down as I go. So the process of reassembling is the reverse. So we start with the screw. Just double check there's no swarf in there. Too much. <laughs> have to line it up with the hole where the peg comes from underneath. Doing that. Let's do the same for number two. So, number three is an interesting one because number three, the screw thread appears to be a new one, a replacement, and that's backed up. If you look at the jaws for number three, there appears to have been an accident as one edge of the threads are broken off just along this side here. The rest of the threads are fine. so. I'm guessing there's been some kind of crash or accident in the past which has damaged the, the, the thread. The chuck has been okay, the, the, uh, the jaw has been okay, but they've obviously had to replace this. And this thread has been made to slightly different tolerances because the other three, which are the original ones, um, are, it's a tighter fit, whereas this one, as you can see, is much looser. So I'll just have to bear that in mind for the future. Okay, they're all lined up now with the the bores below. So if we flip it over. You can now get, let's just check which one's which, so this is number one, that's number two. So. Now to line these up there's a slight notch taken out and that's where the retaining screw lines up. So, tiny bit of oil. Okay. 
Just make sure it's not going in too far. I'm still able to turn. Bars in. I'm going to apply lots of oil now on the threads. Well, the threat just messed up, so I'm getting I'm willing to bet the previous owners of this had jaws one and two fixed and only ever used jaws three and four to add, add the um, add the work pieces because three and four are a lot looser than one and two. Okay, so that's all the parts in.
one clean chuck, all oiled, ready to go. Just need to build a spanner now.